You've charged it, right? Yeah, it charges when you... No, you've charged it since then. No, it's just battery powered. But if I do plug it into the, the laptop, then it'll work. That's just nice. It's just Everyone, friends, listeners, all. Is this our last episode for the year? I believe I think so. The year? So, I think so. Because we have what? It's the Christmas next week? Well, it's the, what, it's the 19th today. 20th today. Yeah, so by the next week will be 27. Yeah. And then we're just going to be like busy and shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be wild. At well, most, yeah. Uh, yeah so uh, well, I guess welcome to the last episode before the new year. Because we're going to take a hiatus. We're actually going to take a legitimate break for a little bit. And then kick back off. I think like... I think it's January 3rd or something, and some like, yeah, a couple of weeks or something like that. Um, we are going to go see Rise of Skywalker tonight, mm-hmm. and so what we could do is release a spoiler review for next week, maybe. Like, we might just do a quick recording, like, we don't have to really do a full setup, we could just do whatever we want. Hell, we're watching it tonight, so we can record tomorrow, Saturday, whatever, if we're like, hey, you guys have time, and then we'll release it. Tomorrow, Saturday. Sorry. Sunday, Monday. Yeah, it's Friday today. Anyways, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go. yeah, so we got that. Um, as you all know, the F Word is part of the Schedule Podcast Network, which is sponsored by Conexus. I forget the tagline. Is it Money Talk? Yeah. Hashtag Money Talk. See, you guys remember. And, uh, yeah, we got some. we got some stuff. Some shit came out. Mm-hmm. You, Anthony, yes, I did. saw Rise of Skywalker last night. Are we starting off with Rise of uh, Skywalker? I, I don't see why not. So Rise of Skywalker was fucking amazing. I loved it. Oh, wow. I was like, genuinely shocked. Hmm. This was the best movie-going experience I've had where I've gone in blind. Okay. And actually, like, blown away. Like, this is where it works 100%. Like, this was, like, good. This was a good surprise. It was, mm-hmm. like... The fucking Last Jedi surprise where it yeah. was shit. This was, like, amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I saw it last night at midnight. So, like, I finished that, like, just before 3 in the morning. Oh, perfect. So I was a bit tired, so I don't know if it's just, like, I was delirious. But <laughs> uh, there were three things I noted that I disliked. Mm-hmm. Only three things. It wasn't, like, didn't ruin the movie. It was just, yeah. like, eh. But that was it. All my other coworkers, they seemed to enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I talked to Costa, uh, Costa, my friend, who's a big Star Wars fan, and he... Uh, he said he liked it, mm-hmm. but he's like a huge nerd, so he just said like some things like there wasn't enough fan service, but this was literally See, end game. And that's the one comment I've heard from a lot of people is the fan service was a little too much. So I, I guess it depends how people look at it and how I don't deep. think it was too much. I think it was like it was just nice, but it was like it was kind of like, okay, like this is your end game moment, like go okay. like you're not coming back. Like go ahead. Realistically, and do this. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So I thought it was actually very good. Like I don't want to say anything, but I'm just gonna no. say overall very good. Mm-hmm. It felt like a legitimate Star Wars film, mm-hmm. and it actually was very surprising because I didn't think they'd be able to pull it off and like mm-hmm. actually do it justice. Yeah, like it felt like I was watching Endgame. Like it was kind of like you know what? Mm-hmm. Like if I was a Star Wars fan, like this would be fucking like way better than it is already. So yeah. well, that's I enjoyed good. it quite a bit. I think, yeah, I think you guys will like it because I know we've had those things where like it's whatever. Yeah, well, I come out I'm like, oh, that was really good, and you guys are like, oh, yeah. that was Suicide Squad. I think that fucking sucked. <laughs> But or I think, Justice League. Or <laughs> no, this, I remember with the CL, it was like it was Suicide Squad. I think when yeah. we all came out and everybody hated it, and I was like, "That was fucking great." Just all the hate in the world. But yeah, yeah no, this one I don't see myself like doing a one eighty and be like, "Oh, this fucking movie sucks." Like yeah. I think it's a gen. Like I and I enjoy this quite a bit. That's good. I'm actually like excited to see it again, like the second night, which yeah. is crazy. And hmm. you can actually like just watch it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god, I was holding in the rankest fucking piss. I turned to my friend who saw it like uh, in the evening. Mm. I'm like, "Hey man, like how how much longer is left?" Because I'm I'm holding on a piss. He's like, "Oh, we're not even halfway done yet." I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I held it in though, uh, but now I can like I'm free bang. Bring I, that I, bring that extra cup with you next time. <laughs> is it long? Like, yeah. In it's terms, like, of, like, is it three hours? Is I it... think it was close. Well, started at twelve, ended mm-hmm. just under like just oh, before three. And did it have like um? Did it have a moment, like the moment in some films where it's like, like, again, Endgame had portals, but it also had like eight other moments 
Did it See, have that? There like, was a moment. Holy shit moment. Like, even you know, in Last Jedi, the holy shit moment was like the red room. Yeah, scene, there right? was a moment where it's kind of like an anime. I'm not gonna say because it's gonna be like, give no, away no, the whole scene, sure. but like, this yeah, it was. Spoilers. It was when I was watching because in the anime, I fucking loved it. Like, I loved it so much, and I was like, oh my god, this is exactly like this. I don't think they ripped off. I'm not saying they ripped off the anime. It just reminded me of it. Mm. But it was like it was a hype moment. You're like, oh fuck, nice. you like, need you need it. So many like how do you like somebody got spoiled at work, mm. and I asked them because I was curious afterwards. I'm like, what did you get spoiled? And they told me the spoiler, but uh, like, there's so many things that you can get spoiled in this movie, like an insane amount. So if you do so, get anything so spoiled, if you get one thing spoiled, yeah. it doesn't matter because there's literally there's not like a huge spoiler, anything mm-hmm. that's gonna like ruin the movie. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. Like, there's just so many sh- things. Well, if it's a spoiler, it would technically would it ruin a moment? It'll ruin a moment, but it's not like it's not just like the whole movie's going to one point. Gotcha. And it's like that's it. Like, there's tons of fucking plots and shit like that's that good. that like go off. But Was... Overall, enjoyed it. Was there a oh what the fuck moment? Yeah, well, one of the three things I disliked wasn't like that reaction where it's like oh what the fuck, but it was kind of like really that wasn't necessary, like mm. you know. But you're gonna do a little bit of that. That's mm. all right. And it's uh, two hours and twenty two minutes, by the way. That's okay. not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Maybe it was just because it's midnight. Yeah, maybe. and you were needing <laughs> to take a piss. No, Usually, man. when you're getting tortured by something, I found that. Uh, it hurts more. Oh my god! It and it feels hurt. longer. Mm-hmm. Well, without fail, as soon as like I try to go do something, even in my home, and like whether I'm trying to cook something or like groceries, like trying to put that stuff away, I have to piss. It's like bastard. That's so why you have to piss throw it in the, the microwave, fluids. press two minutes, haul ass to the bathroom, come yeah. back and stop it. There you go. If oh. you if you don't end up having to take a shit while you're doing it, it's like you shit. just go for a piss and then you shit and you're like, oh fuck, I'm here for like ten minutes. <laughs> I left my phone on the couch. <laughs> Gone too far. <laughs> What's that's the never, point of that, going to the bathroom that's, with that's your never phone? Happened. Wait, yeah. that, that's, that's never happened to you yeah. guys? Yeah, yeah I'm going to start. I'm going to install an iPad. <laughs> I'm always right this, that's why they have TV screens oh, or whatever yeah. in bathrooms, right? There you go. I still need my phone when I do it. Yeah. Um, You had something? You were. I you saw were, Jumanji. Next oh, nice. level? Yeah. That came out? That came out. <laughs> it came out last week. Yeah, I went yeah, to see it, it too. Oh, fuck. I haven't even seen the first one yet. It's sandwiched in between like Frozen and stuff like that. It just slipped in right there well, pretty quick. I thought even it was funnier. Cats is actually battling Star Wars right now. Yeah, yeah but everybody like... hates Cats already. Yeah. No. It's literally getting under five. But yeah, Jumanji Next Level 100% holds up. Just as good, if not a little bit better in its mm. own way. Um, Than the first? Like from the, the, the first the remake, new one? Okay, the yeah. remake, yeah. Not a remake, sorry. The sequel, technically. I guess, yeah. Not a, not a remake, a sequel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would be a sequel. And um, no, they did a great job. And like, obviously, the original cast, they introduced some new characters too and stuff like that. Um, and, the, and the new characters actually made sense? Yeah. Like, I mean, they had some, they needed, there's some new avatars as well. Okay. okay yeah. You'll find out that mm-hmm. out. And obviously, you have Danny Glover in there and Danny DeVito adding to the. Are they in there? I didn't know that. Yeah, they are. Hmm. You didn't know that? Well, I only saw the one trailer yeah, where that. Beverly came back, oh, okay. and that was it. And I was like, okay, whatever. Well, but, the Rock. So Danny DeVito goes in the Rock's avatar. Yeah, I know these. And then switched. Danny Glover goes in Kevin and um, yeah, Kevin Hart's avatar. So you can imagine how they they talk. Kevin Hart does a really good Danny Glover. Uh, the Rock, you know, it's kind of whatever. He just has to be a little bit over the top. And it was a character of him. Character of character Danny DeVito, but I think they did it justice, and it was funny. It nice. was good. I yeah, watched. no, I'm excited. I do want to see that movie actually. Like, oh, yeah. ironically, like, like I, just I said, go it was it. the biggest surprise for me when I heard they were doing re, re, uh, do, uh, doing a sequel to Jumanji. I'm like, this is gonna suck. I'm like, mm-hmm. why did they do this? And it turned out to be one of the best movies. So, and they've continued that, and they've left it open for more. Of course. Well, you know what? Money and it's good. Cash so it's kind of like there's no there's no yeah, harm. but this is this movies that are like you can you can have fun with it. Mm-hmm. You can continue the story in some way, shape, or form. So I I'm game for it. Also, we're not kind of the, we're not really the target market for these movies, so it's like, no. If you enjoy it, it's a bonus. If you don't, it's like whatever. It's not for you. Just no. So is the next one else. just gonna be called the next next level? No, the I have no third idea. level. The third level, or is three? it the fourth technically? The water that's level. The, the next one will be the fourth. But, yeah, that's weird because it'll be the third in the new trilogy. Yeah, I still it'll need be to the see fourth the first in the whole f- franchise. Just, really? I haven't seen the first one. It's on Netflix. Oh, I'm okay. planning to, but I ended you up should. watching Moneyball last night. Oh, Something so I did good. watch because I haven't seen Moneyball. Like my, it's very good. My uh, I do a. It's really weird, but there's an Entre Thirty class at my old high school. I got invited to be a dragon or like a mentor for this group of people. Mm-hmm. I do stickers, so I got the Catalina wine mixer. Catalina, Catalina. Wine Catalina. Wine. Somebody fucking corrected me. It was Catalina. When Whoever I said, said that needs to get the fuck. Okay, Catalina wine mixer. Then 
uh, from like Step Brothers, and I didn't know. I still don't know who this man's from. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. But this one I knew was from Anchorman. I just never saw it. Mm. So I go. saw Anchorman for the first time. Get out! It was wow. funny as fuck. I Dude, actually truly enjoyed oh, it. Fucking man. hilarious. Mm-hmm. Still, to and this all day. the quotes I always heard as a kid. I'm like, oh, this is where those unoriginal fucks got those lines from. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. But yeah, yeah I, I want to see. Is the sequel good? No, no. Is don't it watch. good just to stop? Just, just don't go any yeah. further. Okay, that's good enough. Watch the first one. That's it. Yeah. Because I don't really feel inclined to watch the second one, but you if you guys say no, I'll just not watch just it. Don't. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I watched it, and I don't even remember it. I remember two parts of it. That's They just it. amp up the Anchorman, Anchorman fight. That's it. And, like, you have so many <laughs> that's people. That's the only was the most random fucking scene. So Honestly, good. just watch that clip on YouTube from Anchorman yeah. 2 is yeah. uh, the Anchorman fighting scene. Because that just, like, gets ridiculous to the nth degree. Like, re- like And the first one was ridiculous oh, already. Yeah. So... I will say yes. Go online and just watch that clip uh, as it as on its own. Don't yeah. need to see the rest of it. Basically, um, we got some. We got some news. We got some. Yeah. Where the fuck am I right now? Holy shit! I'm like I feel unprepared today. A little bit kind of creeped up on us, eh? Maybe. I was stuck in training for the last two and a half days, and I thought it was only going to be like half day training, mm. and we were in this like little room two days from 8 30 until 4 30 and it's just like fuck it's and like then, school did they at least give lunch no no we got lunch oh, we got like good. some breaks that's and stuff and then today it was only the morning oh, okay and i'm looking on my laptop because bring work the laptop and all that and i get to work and it was like my first of like because i've only been in this job for like a month and a half mm. it was my first official holy shit i got a ton of stuff to do mm. and so i ended up fitting like so i get tasks and then I have to like call people out and work mm-hmm. on contracts and do all that stuff, right? And fuck, I burned through like ten of these fucking things in two and a half hours, and oh, it was wow. just like I finished. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I still had some time it's like after. A blur. Yeah, it was crazy. It's it was like fun. you know, you dr- you you drive the same route every yeah. day. You don't realize that you. Ha- I'm like, what the hell? How did I get here? It's autopilot. Dude, that's yeah. that's an actual form of hypnosis. Yeah, it is. Because I've gone to a hypnotist uh, a couple times, and she was like. That is a, like when you drive from one place to another, everything's normal. You stop, you check, you do all that stuff. But then when you think about it, you're like, I don't remember exactly yeah. what just happened. And it is a form of just hypnosis. It's yeah. really crazy. Also, what did I learn? This was like a couple weeks ago. You were there. That when you uh, zone out, mm-hmm. that's actually like a mini, not a seizure. Mini stroke. Mini stroke. Yeah. It's, I forget the actual technical term. What was the technical term? Do you remember? Our friend Spiro had said it. And it was like... Oh, shit. I have a lot of strokes. Yeah. Tons of people do. It's bit. crazy. Yeah, it's wild. Um, I guess we can start with... The most ridiculous? <laughs> no, not the most. I guess... Oh, I watched half of the first episode of The Witcher. So oh. far, I'm enjoying it. Did you finish the first episode? I'm on the third or fourth oh, right fuck. now. Holy okay. fuck. Yeah, Jesus. No work, right? <laughs> oh, I guess. Jesus. How yeah. well, how has it been so oh, far? Oh, wait. They're you? not doing it weekly? Didn't they say they're no, doing it's a weekly? Binge. It's a It's a, it's a oh, binge. Yeah. It's a Netflix one. It's been good so far. Like, I, I think they're, they're the first episode, like, that one was heavy, I think, more than the rest of them following it after that. In terms of exposition um, or just heavy in terms of what's there? I would say, yeah, I would say more in the exposition and, like, the action and stuff behind it. And whereas the rest of it is becoming more of the story development and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I think it's it's headed down an interesting road, and I'm intrigued. But that For first episode of never been the first episode alone will intrigue people. I think. Oh like, yeah, from what you've seen dope. so far, like it's yeah. it's it lives up. There's, and I've read some of the reviews, and some people are like, "Oh, this is it doesn't even hold true to the books and moon games." I'm like, "Well, oh, this is like Game of Thrones be. long show." It's oh hour. yeah. Oh, okay. How many episodes are in the first season? I, did we say like eight? eight? Yeah, there you go. Oh, that's not bad. I yeah. mean, they're an hour. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, for somebody that's never um, played played the game, read the books, or anything like that. I mean, I've only played the one game, so I'm not really any whatever. But I love the. I'm like, I'm super stoked just for that, right? Yeah. Are you in? Oh yeah. Like you're like, oh, this world looks pretty fucking awesome. Oh yeah, I was intrigued to be from the beginning. Like even just from how you explain the game and stuff like that. Like, I've never committed to starting the game. That's my problem. So it's like well, I've it's always been intrigued commitment. regardless. I always enjoy the amount of effort they put into like this world. They create mm-hmm. their own languages. They there's this being and how he he exists within this world and how everyone perceives him. That's so that that alone cool. is interesting enough. Like how they look at these people. Like they're pariahs in a way, but yet they're also revered. 
So it's like they need them, but they hate that they need them. Yeah, exactly. And they hate them, but more importantly, they hate that they need them. Yeah. But I think he does a very good job acting as it like he he changes his voice a little bit like from what you regularly know him mm-hmm. I wish but he's he, supposed to be a, a little emotionless and that's he's actually portraying that very well i wish he was less english in his speaking because Geralt doesn't have he's not english like he doesn't have uh, the british, uh, british Eng- sorry british english see i i think he's it's hard for him to do his voice change plus do the american thing but he did it for uh superman was it the same though oh yeah he did, he did, like, well, he like, really, lots of people, I didn't really care, but I, lots of people always said yeah. Superman was monotone and lifeless, so I feel yeah. like maybe. But most I, I never noticed. It, I think but. his tone and his, and his, like, his voice level is a little different in The Witcher than it is in Man of Steel. For sure, because Geralt has that... Uh, the rough, like yeah. That. So I think him trying to master that yeah. and then hide his natural accent... Sure. Maybe a slip. I, I see it slipped a couple of times, but other times, I, it's for the most part. I'm like, I'm always, I'm always guessing. Like, oh wait, was he talking British? Because everyone else is talking British around, don't they? Yeah, which is kind of weird. So I don't understand why he himself is not talking the well, British English. None of them should to begin with. Oh. I think what's happened is a lot of these shows they just automatically have to sound English. I, I mm. think it's it adds to the fantasy because it's just that kind of language. It's it's got a it's it's got a Maybe. flourish to it, whereas like the American is just kind of drawn. That's Maybe. It. Well, I think I mean, it's kind of like, like the, the Game, Game of Thrones effect where like just lots of kind of shows that are along the same vibe as Game of Thrones Lord always of the have like the fucking accent. Lord of the Rings did it first. Why well, I didn't I would see Lord of the Rings. That's why I didn't. But, but, Lord no, of the but, Rings, we did, yes. but like Middle Earth has never been established as anything except for this is how they speak, yeah. right? Like so we don't really have anything to play off of. And then for The Witcher, they have the games, mm-hmm. not really the books because the books can only go so far. But yeah. I remember in the games, not many people, like some people did, but a lot of it wasn't. Mm-hmm. You know, British. But I will say, I was eating a bowl of cereal, and the times where I leaned down, and by leaned down, I mean leaned over to go grab a spoonful of cereal, mm. and he would talk. I was like, "Oh, it's Geralt." Mm-hmm. Like you could recognize. I, him. I'm like, "This is Geralt. This isn't. This isn't a shitty version of Geralt." Mm-hmm. It. It's. I felt like I was listening to Geralt, and it seems like from the little bit that I've I've watched. They've been able to at least nail the video game version of him because mm-hmm. that's my only. Again, that's, that's, really my that's, only, that's what I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, and again, for the hardcore fans, just The Witcher Three. So, just don't throw stones, please. Um, but so far, it's good. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah. There's there was a lot in it. I wish they didn't. Uh, there was one big battle that I wish didn't. It didn't necessarily need to take place in the first episode. Oh, that one. It, yeah. it was a very out of place type of thing. But my guess is it folds. In. Is it violent? Yeah, very nice. nice. Extremely violent, actually. And it and it starts off like very Witcher esque. It it's cool. not an R rating, is it? It's just mature. I think it's just yeah. I don't know. Birds of Prey is an R rating, which is surprising. That's yeah. gonna be sick. Mm-hmm. That's good. Well, I don't think it's, I don't think it is gonna make the film good. I don't care for the film at all. But like just having that rated yeah. R for freedom, it's like okay. Yeah, you never know. This might mm-hmm. surprise you. I'm not. I'm not hoping yeah. it sucks. Again, no, I hope it's great. I just. But don't you're not care. like one hundred percent drawn to it. Mm-hmm. You're like okay, I'll see it just for like. You I saw the character in one form. <laughs> just don't want to be hurt again. Wow. <laughs> uh, don't give me hope. <laughs> it's literally. No, but before we get into the ridiculous thing, no. uh, Top Gun and Tenant trailer. Amazing. Both so I saw ones. Top Gun 2. I, what is Have you Top... seen the first one? No, I didn't. What is Top Gun about? That was my question. Okay. Flyboys. Tom Cruise is a yeah. renegade uh, fighter pilot, yeah. and he joins a school called Top Gun. Mm-hmm. And this school is to train the best of the best. And mm-hmm. uh, I believe it was during the not the Cold War. Maybe the Cold War. Anyways, and No, it wasn't that old. Was it? I think it was set, but maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways, it has been a while since he did. And then uh, Maverick, who is Tom Cruise, mm-hmm. he is, again, kind of does whatever he wants. He's, uh, as the one character says, he writes checks his body can't cash. That's where that line comes from. And he's dangerous. And he does. he's not a team player. He likes to run by his own rules. And then he had a goose. Remember whenever you say "talk to me, Goose"? Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard me and Nick say that? Yeah. Um, Goose was his like his wingman, mm-hmm. and then so there's this thing going to school, and then something happens to Goose, and then Val Kilmer is in it too, and then they're rivals because Val Kilmer is very like he's an extremely good pilot, and he's very calculated. He doesn't take the risks because he finds that Maverick is unsafe. Anyways, long story short, he passes Top Gun. So this is just like it's fire pilots. So they're not fighting anybody. They're just kind of like it's like a school thing where they're trying to become better. Like it's a rival thing. In the in the first one, they do end up 
fighting other because there's still other mm-hmm. you know factions coming up against him right every once in a while but mostly it's just the training and how maverick is evolving from being a lone wolf to a team player hmm. and then so this one looks like it's kind of the same thing but obviously you've got the old guard and the new guard and by the looks of it he's a teacher is he a teacher now yes i believe so so which i think was always the thing he's going to come back as a teacher of the school that kind of made him a better man kind of deal and so uh yeah all i know is that it looked really good also that- the reactions are like overly positive i'd say like i haven't really seen any negative reactions to top gun 2 yet other than like when i got announced people like oh why are you doing this sure yeah no the uh the dog fighting in the mm-hmm. trailer was unreal like mm-hmm. unbelievable and the first one for its time was really good mm-hmm. but this is like fuck this can look so good especially in the big screen so yeah but you haven't seen the first one no Man, I would, I would say watch it, but I don't know if you're just going to sit there and be like, this is some of the cheesiest shit in the world. Because it is. And you'll never. It was the 80s, wasn't it? Was it the 80s? Yeah. yeah. So there's there's Cold War stuff there. You will never get Danger Zone out of your head. Yeah. Ever. After uh-huh. watching. Have you not seen Harold and Kumar? I watched. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, was that big in Harold and Kumar? And it's an Archer. I was like, Archer. I, well, Archer was the one that was always big. And I know. Yeah. Now, you, now you can connect. The now two you, dots now and go. you get the reference. Well, yeah. I always got the reference. But did you? But you didn't, though, because you hadn't seen it. It's <laughs> well, like Nick, I saw the says, scene. I just never saw the movie. Uh, no, no, no. It's it's just the full. Like, you need to see the full movie, I think, to get it. It's like yeah. when Nick quotes Face Off. He's seen the scene, but he's never seen the movie. Yeah. So. He really doesn't get it. Yeah. So for you, you get like 60% of it. That extra 40. That extra 40 is filled with just suntan oil and beach volleyball. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow. Uh, so anyways, yeah. you were intrigued by it? No, I thought it looks fine. That yeah. looks interesting. Yeah. Looks I think dope. it's great. Yeah, looks like dope. I said, it has been, it's been a very long time since seeing Top Gun. Yeah. It's during that era when they were always playing like Top Gun, A Few Good so Men. Like good. Oh, back to yeah. back, private. Uh, G.I. Jane uh, stuff was being Unreal. played like back to back kind of stuff back in there was like uh, one channel that would just do it nonstop. So. not just that uh, Top Gun because of Top Gun the fighter pilot registration shot through the roof it was like when the oh, Fonz yeah. when the Fonz said that having a library card was cool and everybody yeah. rushed to get library cards no word of a lie is like a Don't like a, the, the uh, second he said it everybody <laughs> went what are the point of like why would people just not have library cards though because it's like Back then? Well, yeah, I feel like back then would be more practical than it is now. Because it's the 50s and, like, reading was stupid. Yeah. The like, Gre- people were like, man, the Greek is in the Reading's social, dumb. You know Give me that. cigarette. Yeah. Wow. But, like, they're just... Well, back then it was more dangerous than it is now. Yes. Yes. But, I mean, like, yeah. they... Yeah, it wasn't cool to be a, a nerdy person, right? Or yeah. to read. So, that's why there's so now, many people... Now, reading read. is in. Or mm. audiobooks. I haven't gone into audiobooks yet. I really want to. No, um, I haven't either. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, I listen to a lot of stuff, <laughs> but I would rather I should read books. Okay, we didn't talk about tenants. We know we're talking about okay. it right now. Like, yeah. I have no fucking idea. That's what the I've, fuck. So far, from what I understand, people don't know what to think about it in the sense that like they haven't deciphered quite what it's about yet. Yeah, but I'm. I think it's another hit, like what Inception was as an as an original idea. Mm-hmm. I thought it's definitely up Nolan's alley, and I think he'll deliver. Something I just very thought it was like there's. From the teaser I'd always see in the movie theater, like right before it, because we've just been playing the same teaser over and over, it yeah. always looked really intense. Mm-hmm. And it was always the one where he's like going through the hallway and just touching all like the bullet, yeah. like cake, bullet holes or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think it's just interesting as fuck. Like, where I have, have no I idea seen that main actor again? The guy who's playing the main character. I have no idea. But uh, Robert Patterson's in it too. Well, they yeah, have a Batman and Alfred. Michael Caine's uh, in there too. Oh, Michael Caine. Well, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. Yeah. He's going to be in it. Um, Is he in all of them? I don't know. We'll look him up. Well, I'm, yeah. So far, he's been in Inception. I think he's been in every single one. And his one. Batman's, and <laughs> now this. So, I, I, yeah, I yeah. think I think he was also in uh, that fucking space one, Interstellar, wasn't he? Possibly. One thing I caught in the trailer that I don't know, like what it means, I just like noticed it mm. was that on the boat near the end, yeah, is the like boats going forward, but the water is going backwards, right? Mm-hmm. So it, it, this is like playing with time in a way. It's yeah. almost like they can manipulate it. Or, well, like, he said I, he's dead, isn't he? Or is it like just a? He, he said he's in Welcome to the Afterlife. I think I think it's more that they killed like him off like, in the real world. He's dead to everybody yeah, else, but like, he's just he's a ghost at that point. Whether it's a literal ghost or fictional, or like in the sense that like you're off the grid kind of thing. Right. Um. It also seems like like my little bit minority. Have you guys seen Next? 
with no. Nicolas Cage. Do you ever remember that? I've seen half of it. So he could see a little bit into the future, like and that's it's, a, it's a ripple effect. Kind I, of I don't think it's that, though, because it seems like they're aware of the reverse effect. Like when they showed that car flipping yeah, over, yeah, yeah. which is like the poor man's version of that semi-truck mm-hmm. in Dark Knight. From, uh, Dark Knight. Yeah, the Dark Knight, sorry. Yeah. And then they're driving by and it reverses back. Mm-hmm. Just like I, I feel GTA like they're, a, they're aware of it. first came out, just all the glitches and shit as you're driving on the highway. Yeah, you perfect. see a car going, boop, 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 boop. Um, Arturo said he felt it was a bit underwhelming for a Christopher Nolan trailer. Mm-hmm. But what he saw has him extremely intrigued. He's yeah. like, uh, it left you more confused than interested which is yeah. obviously the intent like, yeah it's not like um i think over time it'll yeah. prove to have been a smart decision for a teaser trailer and i agree yeah. I, I think i the, think the more they like uh i feel like this is kind of the movie that's going to be like really just mysterious and like even going into the release you're still yeah. gonna have like very little idea yeah. of what it's about and so I, I think yeah he might have the control. better idea for this movie is to like just have it be like not obviously too random where nobody like knows what the fuck's going on yeah. but like just like random enough where it's like you don't give away because i feel like it's gonna have a big twist at the end or something yeah because I don't know why he else was he's so in, mysterious. He was in Black Black Klansman. He was the lead in Black Klansman. Okay. He was in Ballers. Oh, okay. Um, I remember him in Ballers actually. Ballers. That that's the Rock show. With the Rock that? show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was also in Malcolm X. In that's 1992. where I remember him. He's the main. He's one of the main guys in Ballers. That's yeah, right. Yeah, I yeah. forgot. I only seen one season of that, by the way. It's good. The second season was pretty good too. Yeah. Um. Like yeah. No, seasons. it looks good. John David Washington. Uh, and then Robert Pattinson, that dude's fucking, he's doing a McConaughey right now. Like, he is shedding the skin of all of that Twilight bullshit. Well, it's kind of like what you said, yeah, where... Enough time has this, passed. Yeah, right? where he's, he's not, kind of laid low, yeah, and now maybe. is on the rise. Because he yeah. has, like, back-to-back movies. He was in The Lighthouse, which everyone and loves. now it's Tenet, and then it's going to be Batman right after Tenet. Yeah. Unless there's something else, that I'm sure that's going to bridge the gap. But yeah. He's going to he's gonna end up being one of those, like, premier actors that it's like, yeah. you know what? They had a rocky start. They kind of did what they had to do. They got some money, and yeah. now they can do what they want to do. Well, and it was like kind of like uh, LaBeouf. Well, LaBeouf is one, but he kind of went a little off the rails. Yeah. But Brad Pitt had an interview recently when he was talking about how Troy kind of broke him in a way. Oh, really? Because he, in a he bad way. did it because he had to. Okay. He pulled out of one movie. They put him into that one. And he felt like the story went the wrong way because they kept – like the, the narrative – wasn't as mysterious as it should have been or as he would liked and it ended up being like oh he's the best he's a hero he's the but whatever yeah, he's but the you're best gonna change history we don't we don't know that have you read the, the history have you read the iliad yeah you've read it yeah oh good for you <laughs> and the odyssey <laughs> oh good for you <laughs> Never mind then. but i mean I, I don't know because like they already no changed comment <laughs> well no i'll tell you this in in the iliad yeah when um what the fuck was Orlando Bloom's character? Paris. Paris. Yeah. When Paris is fighting Agamemnon's brother, mm-hmm. Aphrodite is the one that comes out of nowhere and picks him up. Well, they didn't have that in the movie, so no. would is you it... say, is that rewriting that, that okay. way that it happened? To the center... And he was dancing around. Sorry, I'm just saying. He was dancing around. He was prancing, you mean? Sorry, he was prancing around and, <laughs> and mocking his foe as opposed to being like very timid. Yeah, okay. So Stuff like that, for sure, but you, the overarching story of that Achilles is this hero and this this guy as good as he is. That part didn't change. He was always like that. Maybe it was the execution where they could have just like you don't need to say it all the time. Yeah, where they could have just let it be, and it's like he could be that. I think the way that I read it, and I might have read mm-hmm. it wrong, was he was hoping it was going to be like this this marauder from the shadows that you don't see him all the time, and then when you do, you're like, oh fuck, yeah. That's like, him. not, oh, he's here on screen, and then he's yeah. going to go kick some ass, which, don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. it was good. Yeah. Like, I didn't, I don't hate that movie. No, not even a bit. Uh, so this is where, like... But anyways, he yeah. said, he's like, now I pick the roles that I want to do. Okay. And he has, and I don't know, Brad Pitt's an unreal actor. It's like Entourage, where, like, it's like, if he's, if I get to do this, I get to do the next one kind of thing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. But, and that's how it works, too, right? Like, yeah. if you pull out of one movie... They'll lock you in and be like, listen, you, you do this movie as a favor to us. Yeah. And then we'll either cancel your contract, let you do the movie you want, blah, blah, blah. Unless you get a director or, or a studio head like, uh, what's his nuts? Oh, yeah. That ended up having a heart attack. Yeah. But, I can't remember his name, damn it. Because of Harvey? Of, cause no. Of, no. Because of Aquaman. Yeah. Remember the guy that hated Vince so much because he wouldn't do Aquaman too. I think so. Oh, man. I can't remember his name. It's going to bug me. Keep going. Um, <laughs> but anyways, Tenet looks good. Mm-hmm. And again, I have zero fucking idea what it's about. Is it coming out 2020? Mm, I think so, yeah. Uh, a Lord of the Rings is losing one actor and gaining an actress. So what did you say, Vasily? They found their galantri- galantriel? 
Galadriel, yeah. Galadriel. Young Galadriel. And, oh. Um, I can't remember what series she comes from. I, can't I, I honestly, I should have read it. Uh, a little That's bit okay. Before, but I'm... ultimately, yeah, they gained her and lost, uh, uh, was it Will Portier? I Polter? think so. Polter? Yeah, Polter. Polter. Yeah, Will Poulter, and then they gained, um, oh, Jesus, Morphid Clark. Morphid Clark. I've never heard that name before. Oh, wow. I was looking on the South Korea. So, <laughs> <laughs> they, for Lord of the Rings, they're, like, not, like, anywhere going in terms of actually, like, filming, right? They're, like, still. I don't know. They're still they're casting so people. people. Like, I think. It's gonna They're take a while too. So well, they, the thing is, they they've got greenlit for season two. Yeah, so, so maybe, so maybe they, they already have season one. Uh, what the hell was going on? So I don't know if they have like Will Porter's character as a main person that's supposed to continue on in season two, or if he's like okay, his arc kind of was gonna fizzle after a while. Mm-hmm. But now they have no choice, or they'll have to recast it. I mean, it's happened before, but because this is weird, she was in. Dracula, or is going to be a movie called Crawl, a movie called Saint Maud. I've never seen anything that she's in. Um, yeah, I haven't seen anything. That Alan she's in. Gray. Alan Gray. Well, that was the studio head from Entourage. That. Oh, Alan Gray. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was I need fun. to rewatch Entourage soon. I haven't seen it for a while. Yeah, I rewatched too. it at one point, but then I was like, I'm good now. You had annoyed at a few seasons. That's all. Yeah, I think um, what happened was. I don't know what happened. Why I just fell out of love for it. I'm like, this is just the Ari show, and they're kind of doing. The Did same you guys thing. watch it live or when it was already done? Mm, yeah, I watched towards the end. I was watching it live. I was fifty fifty. I think okay. I started mm-hmm. it when the first two or three seasons were out, and then I think I rolled like I was watching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after. Okay, it might be different then because I'm just binging it all, and when I noticed like whenever I binge like The Walking Dead, especially. Mm. Week to week, it would fucking suck, and I would hate it. But like, if you just binge it, it's like, okay, this isn't bad. This is like yeah. whatever. Because well, it's because you can get through the pain yeah. faster. Mm-hmm. And it's thirty minutes, twenty five maybe mm-hmm. without the. Well, and now that you've seen it a couple times, haven't you? You kind of like no, are... I I still like it. You still like I still it. no, but I'm it. saying like you can you you look forward to the parts that you know are coming that are going to be awesome, and you get through the shitty mm-hmm. parts. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I think Sasha Gray was the only one I disliked. Like, that was the only part I was like, okay, this is kind of like, this is way too weird now. That's, like, that I, season was a little weird in general for a lot of people, but it's I, it, it kind of portrayed the most true part of the stardom. I kind of feel they could have done better. Yeah, I, like, for sure. I, I think they did okay, but mm-hmm. I think they could have done just something a little bit better. But the problem is that Adrian Brody, is that, no, not Adrian Brody. Gainier or whatever, Gainier, yeah. yeah. He's not a good actor. He's actually yeah. the, the. What's funny is he's the worst actor. Is that Vince? Yeah, yeah. Vince is the worst actor in that show, hmm. like top to bottom. Um, and I think Drama is my favorite actor, actually. Like, because he just plays really the great. character like so well. Like, Ari Gold, I'm not including, no, because he's, he's just like the mm. favorite. He's like the Barney, but like I think Johnny Drama just plays that like loser brother so well, and then yeah. like he's just so redeeming at the end with mm-hmm. Johnny's bananas. Yeah. And then, yeah, and well, again, Turtle too. Oh, I, fuck I, as bad as this sounds, I like Fat Turtle versus Skinny Turtle. <laughs> <laughs> like he was just, I don't know. It was funny because in a way he almost felt more sure of himself. He, mm. he, it seems like when he lost weight, the character lost confidence. Is that, like, was that Kinda. just me? Yeah, a little bit. I could see that. Well, I think like when, in his case, like lots of people, like when they are like that, they're like more confident because they have to like, they feel like they're making up for like being bigger or whatever. Yeah. When they so lose it, they like, they're like, oh, well, I'm skinny. Like it should just happen naturally. And then it kind of goes and they realize, oh, wait, no, like. Well, they're actually aware of the fact that it's almost like they feel like they have to. It's like they're overcompensating because they feel like it's such a drag on them. But it's like no Maybe. one cares. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or like that now that oh, now that I'm skinny, mm-hmm. I have to act a certain way or whatever before no one paid me any mind. Yeah. But then they think people pay more attention because they're paying attention to themselves. Hmm. Oh, that's Look at them, no one cares. Like, And then you get Thor from Endgame and he's just all sorts of beauty. Mm-hmm. Are you going to grow your hair out and do the braid thing one of these days? Hair's already grown out. No, no, like even more. Obviously, you can't braid your I've left beard it for like now Thor for a while. But my hair is not as to... strong as it used to be. A little thinned out, but hey, uh, let's get some hair back. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Who knows what's going on? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hair need help. <laughs> just getting hard. Um, Xbox reveals the or just Xbox. Xbox. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty cool. I like it. You yeah, know, everybody said it looks like a fridge. I'm like, it just looks like a PC. Like it's nothing. It looks like a massive uh, um, Bluetooth speaker. 
That's true basically. too. But they said I saw a size like comparison. Book. Like it's actually not even that big though. Unless like IGN did this as a joke, is it the but they showed yeah. like the banana was like half the a banana is half the size of the Xbox standing up. That's not bad. Which is okay. like yeah, because I thought like uh, looking at it, it's like oh that's like but like wrong. actual banana mm-hmm. like. So the banana well, so is IGN did. And there's yeah, I was trying to find that. Like, so I gotta wonder though, have they? I guess is it doesn't matter if you have it no, sideways they said or it top. Will, uh, work standing or flat. Because basically they gotta make it fit into everyone's standard mm-hmm. uh, TV stands and whatever. It's a subwoofer. Yeah, that's what it is. Right here. So this is the size comparisons. So they have other consoles plus banana, which is I don't know if it's a joke. That's or, the last one, I though, right? The, I guess the mm-hmm. PlayStation on its side is just as tall, like just because we we put it flat. Series oh, I don't. I put X, mine up. Xbox. You put yours up because the, the fan, like X. on the side, it's easier. Oh, so th- it's called the Series X now. No, that was before they changed it to uh, Xbox. No, oh, okay. But they said that's a good name. They called it Series X because there's gonna be a bunch of like variations to that console. Mm-hmm. So that's not like. That's the Series X, but it's just an Xbox. But, but there's gonna be another. Let's be honest here. Like this is already gonna have 4K capabilities. It's gonna or even 8K capabilities coming out of the gate. Bluetooth capability as it already. Or, actually, sorry, 4K discs. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how much more you could do to it. Well, like, I it mean, seems like they they're, they're little mini computers, I guess. So you can add the faster processor. Well, the they extra could like do. Drive. They could put pretty much that's spice a, it up and like make it like a relatively inexpensive console that's average, yeah. and then have that super sweaty one that's like a PC price that you'll. Yeah. Like, there's no point of buying a console for like two thousand bucks, but people will, I bet. Yeah, maybe. Me no, I just buy a PC at that point. Yeah, yeah I'm just. I think all the, both consoles are just going towards PC anyways. Well, like they're mini computers. Gonna... The only the only nice thing is that they just they just work. You don't have to add the extra stuff. Download this, download that. Like I mean, you download, but it works in a different form, right? So For sure. But what they're making is accessible PC, right? Thing. So it's like it, when they start integrating more things that you can add to them. Mm-hmm. As long as they don't do the you have to get PlayStation Sony stuff to work yeah. for the PlayStation. It's like fuck you, man. Like just. If I have a fucking hard drive from one my computer mm-hmm. and it's better than your fucking PS4 or yeah. five or whatever, I'm gonna swap it, and you yeah. should be able to swap it. Well, but I think you can, do it. but the thing with Sony is, as soon as you open the PlayStation up, your warranty's done. Mm-hmm. Right, like as the moment it's done, yeah. like you open it's done. Because realistically, you just need to buy a hard drive that fits that insert. That's all. It well, is. that's what people did. Because I remember, like when I got the external one, lots of people would just do it themselves. Yeah, and just like place it inside the PlayStation. I'm like, yeah. okay, I'll just grab the USB one and just. Well, the most, the most common one I know a lot of people would do is that they would do the um, SSD card mm-hmm. to make everything like just quick mm-hmm. startup, especially for like the main drive and some of the games that they're going to play. Yeah. But because they. Interesting. Yes. I'm excited for the PS5, though, because the startup time for that one, I think we said on the show. Zero. Startup. They claim that GTA 5 would take like less than a second to like that whole long bullshit yeah, black loading screen they have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It takes 15 years. <laughs> It's gonna take less than a second. Buddy, so you gotta get back to the N sixty four days and oh, I play it on the GameCube, okay? Don't act like I'm a yeah, new but the N sixty four games didn't have that much loading time. No, NES uh, and all that shit took so quick. You pop the games it in, boom, yeah. it's done. They, they weren't as bogged down as that. Uh, yeah, they yeah, didn't I have as so. much stuff, right? Whereas I would say PS two probably had the biggest lag time for you think most so? of the games. Because it was it was just bridging that gap to where the new tech was coming in and with the games that they tried to play. Maybe. I don't remember the PS two enough because I was always we, me and my brother played GameCube instead of PS2. We had that shit in the closet, just sitting there collecting dust. Oh. How um, was that? Cool, cool. I guess we're talking about games. How fucking shitty was that Fast and Furious game trailer? I, if it's for if it's for uh, a Come mobile on. game, then sure. Is it for mobile? No. Is it console? Well, I don't it's know. Console. I, I, I don't That's what I'm saying. Like, like, it's why? not. <laughs> and it looks like a PS2 game, now that you mentioned PS2. I don't know PS2. what they were thinking. Why wouldn't they have just done like a Need for Speed like or well, just team up with Need for Speed. It's already there. Just like give them money to make you a game. Exactly. See, when they came out with uh, oh, what the hell the other one came? Underground. No, underground not Underground. Too. Underground was the first. Dum dum dum. Underground was the first one that kind of copied what was going on with the Fast and Furious movies. But the most recent one was um, oh, sorry, it made more of with the movie Need for Speed. Where like someone got betrayed and then you had to go find and deal yeah, with, with this, steal this Paul. vehicle. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, man. he wasn't voicing anything, but yeah, the movie was with Aaron Paul. Yeah. Um, so dumb. Yeah, it looks so bad. I downloaded it too. Need what? for Speed. I don't know what the hell. Wasn't it hop, not Harp Suit Cross Country? Doesn't it the one where they go no, all over the place? No, it's like that open world where you can drive to like They're from L.A. Open. to Vegas. They're all open. no, no, no. This one's like across country. 
Is that Need for Speed or is that just a different Need game? For speed. No, oh. that was Need for Speed. They they did a new thing where is that the new one that came out? No, like uh, the newest just, one. Heat looks like the. Best. I didn't know that was Need for Speed. I knew ah, that was Payback. A game, That's the newest. I bought. I got that one. Payback is the one that copied Need, need for, for Speed. speed. Payback. No. So, but anyways, well, is it really copying if it's the same franchise? Uh, and they just do. No, is it a better? Is it better so than the movie? Yeah, if That's I would say, question. I would say anything that the storyline kind of mimicked more what the movie did versus. Did it do it better though? It was all right. I actually never got through the game very far. <laughs> I got distracted and started doing other stuff. Well, yeah. So For here games we are. like that, it's kind of like I gotta go wash the dishes. <laughs> Basically. So yeah. But yeah. But yeah. Uh, do you ever watch Jackass? Oh my! You have no idea how fucking happy I was as a kid. I just asked you a question. Yes. Was, okay. Good. Yes. <laughs> as a kid. I was waiting because me, Michael, all these Greek kids would fucking watch Jackass all the time. Is this because you didn't like the non-Greek kids? I don't know. Just <laughs> but like this was like in like grade six, grade five. Like we'd watch it like when it was like big and like out, and we'd have all these things, and yeah. we're like, "Oh, Jackass Four is coming out," and then Ryan Dunn is that his name? Ryan, Ryan Dunn. Dunn yeah. Ryan Dunn died. Yeah, and they weren't going to do it, and I was so sad. Then recently, mm-hmm. I started watching Steve O clips, and he said. Jackass 4 isn't happening. Like, this was like a month or two ago. He's like, Jackass 4 isn't happening. Like, yeah. if he wants, if, they, if it's going to happen, Johnny Knoxville will say it's going to happen. Like, he's the yeah. only one that can do it. He's a ringleader. But if they're going to get everyone back. And then the I part. saw it. I think they, I think Steve O said, if they're, if Johnny says they're doing it, everybody said they'll come back. Okay. The only one that's, uh, that's a, it's kind of like a wild card is Bam. Yeah. Because Bam's been in like rough shape ever yeah, since Dunn passed Phil. away. Yeah. Yeah. He was on Dr. Phil and he's just he's just looking rough and But I'm excited yeah. as fuck. And this is obviously gonna be the last one like like oh, sent yeah, away yeah. because yeah. they're old as fuck and this is already to. dangerous. Well yeah. But Not I'm just excited that, just like to hear like the, the news because they're gonna be filming it and I I assume something's gonna happen where like somebody gets fucked up because they are very much older now. Oh yeah. So it'll be exciting to like be a part of the process and hopefully it actually like gets released and they don't have to like you Well know, I never watched that down. action point. With now they're John Knoxville, but like it was basically like his own jackass movie, movie, mm-hmm. and that's it. Yeah, he supposedly went through withdrawal after the movie was done. Oh, he did that a couple ex- times over. Yeah, experiments like just like running I think into bad shit. grandpa. That bad was, grandpa was oh another one for him. Yeah, he bridged the gap. Yeah. Well, that was a spinoff because like he was in that character's in Jackass. Yes, Clayton, uh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he Fuck. he did that one and just went full blow. The into balls that character. in the vending machine was the cringiest fucking thing I saw. <laughs> like, that looked so painful. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Just imagine, because if you see that in, like, real life, like, yeah. you're not going to immediately assume this is fake. You're like, oh, my God, that guy's balls are so fucking long and stretchy. Is your roommate going to drink all your scotch? Is that what it's saying? You better not. <laughs> is- Vass's roommate posted a picture. Fire and scotch to start the weekend. All of his Game of Thrones scotches all up against it. He's like, so does this mean he's going to drink them all? Yeah, better or not yet. Are those yours? Bastard. Are they yours and Chris's? They're mine. Comment so, that. My, an- my prayers have been kind of answered. They released another bottle. Oh, sweet. For the Six Kingdoms. Oh, and It's sick. got the raven, and it's but it's gold. Well, so it's black does, and it's gold okay. in but the middle. But it still yeah. doesn't match the colors. But as long as it's like doesn't you matter. have... Uh, the same different. amount as white on each side, That's it'll true. look clean. It won't though. Is no. it? Like I, you'd have to actually. Which you have. I think to it was do. four and three. You'd have to put the the black and the gold one on the opposite ends. Well, let's look at the uh, photo. Yeah, he's got. Did two, you have? Yeah, yeah. He would need to get. You need one tan one. So they need to bring House Martell into the game and make it just the tan. And case. then make the gold. We'll one. send them a letter now. This is your time. They're already making more. No, hold on. They would have to make the House Martell one. That'll make it four and four on each side. The one then make the sure. gold one. And then the gold one will match with the black one. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Mortlac, 15 year. Do you oh. already order it? I'm trying to. We're trying to get it. It's nowhere here in this Canada. Adiyah, well, I will let Michael know. And Actually, if you just send me... If you, you can text Michael, I assume it would be easier. Yeah, just let Michael know. I Honestly, I already went to the, all, those, all the liquor stores in our immediate area, and mm-hmm. no one had it. We've put the feelers out. I don't want to. If I don't want to have to, I won't go to the UK again because it's it's already. I already know it's available there, mm-hmm. so I'll just have to pay the conversion. Sometimes it works well, out a little bit better. But I think this just got announced, didn't it? Or like just got released? November. And, well, I just yeah, and I so for us, like we were especially. This is apparently very limited, oh. so it's like, okay, we want this one plus they need to make House Martell. I think I think that was they were shunned out of that too unfortunately and they need to make it a tan bottle and therefore everything will line up perfectly so which even one would you still, have in the middle i don't know 
mm-hmm. you'd put one. You'd either put the gold or the black one, or none of them. You put the gold and the black on the very outs, and then you have all the tan ones in the middle. So then you have your off colors and then the tans in, mm-hmm. in the middle. Like visually, it's a nightmare in my opinion. And I have a little OCD when it comes to that shit. So it's like it's gonna bug me. Have you been getting OCD more as you've been getting older? Yeah. Because I'm, mm. I'm going to say I have. Mm. I have not in been s- as OCD in as I In some am ways, right now. yes. Like, depends on what's going on. Like, with, like, the house, certain areas of the house need to be, like, clean like this, and it bothers me. I'll leave it for a little bit, but then all of a sudden it'll just snap, and I'm like, okay, this has to be like this. But, like, something I'm trying to put together, and it's supposed to look a specific way, and it doesn't, and I can't control that, it's going to bug me. Like, this is an instance thing. It's like, what the hell? Well, it's really weird because I like to think of myself as, like, the cleanest, messiest person. Yes. Because my room, Those don't work. my room is fucking like not like super messy, but like That's I don't make my though, bed too. and my like there's weird. a bunch of shit on the dressers, but yeah. it's not like over like you can't leave. Well, you can go and find. I'll just... have socks. I'll have like clothes I've been wearing yeah. throughout the week on the floor, and I'll just walk over and clean not, your not rooms, go. man. But like everything else, like my basement, <laughs> my fucking yeah. basement. Like if anyone moves or touches a single thing on my Dragon Ball shelf, I'll notice. Like who the fuck touched this? Like it's slightly off. <laughs> Like I put some measuring tape. Like I wash my hands all the time. Like I'm just fine. all everything else, but my room is the only thing I just don't I think care you're a about. You're germaphobe. Probably. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's well, more of a germaphobe than an OCD guys, thing. Clean your fucking rooms, man. <laughs> no one goes in there. That's the that's, yeah. Okay, that's, mom. that's my that's my kind of justification. Uh, yeah. So it's like wherever Still. no one would publicly go, mm-hmm. it's not a top of mind thing to keep to that level. But yeah, I don't know. I've ever since. So this is also two single guys talking to a married man about keeping your room clean. And and I'll say that my room was an absolute disaster, but so was I personally at the time. And now that like I make a point because it's now so in my our Mm -hmm. space, like I make a point to be a little bit like to be way more cleaner than I was before. Like you've been to our place, and I abide by the rules that she said because it's her place. She pays for the mortgage and everything. But it is it is nice. Mm -hmm. And then I look at it, I'm like, how the fuck did i have my room before disaster area yeah but you know there is a there is a parallel between the space that you live in Mm -hmm. and the mind that it occupies your body that's true and so all i can say is clean your rooms (laughs) and you'll watch it's so fact (laughs) it's so fact (laughs) clean your fucking rooms no because i'm sitting at my desk and i've this is the first time i've ever done this Mm -hmm. someone sat down on the desk okay it's like one of those cubicle things yeah it's like whatever so they sat down or whatever we're talking everything like that their their leg moved the fucking piece of paper and pen that I had just slightly off. So it moved the paper, and as it moved the paper, the pen rolled over, and I had the pen on the side, okay? I didn't say anything, but I kept looking at it. They get up and leave. I put it back to where it was, and then I sat there. I'm like, what the fuck have I become? Son of a bitch, you move my pen and pencil again, I'll kill so you. so stupid, and then, I'm, and then I... I did that thing and I took a step back and I've had desks before yeah. and all of my desks have been disasters mm-hmm. like I'd actually have to spend a day like when I was in real estate my office there nightmare uh, even the desk here at like my parents place here is like a disaster L- the desk at Sov's place is better but it has all of the equipment on there mm-hmm. like when I do my voiceover so it's a little bit of a disaster you just need cord management system. But I, I've mm-hmm. gone through that, and then now my desk at work, for some reason, is just like I'm looking back, and I've got things organized just so the mm-hmm. spacing is almost perfect. And that happened. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? And I'm what have becoming, you done to me? <laughs> yeah, and I'm becoming more OCD as I'm getting older, and I don't know if I like it. I do because it's yeah. like it's not. I don't think OCD is a bad thing. I think no. it's like just a nice. Like, you just want things to be ordered yeah. and structured and clean. It's not a bad thing. I have, it's more weird if you don't like things that way. I have my moments where it's, like, organized chaos, and only I can navigate through it, whereas anyone else, I'm like, what are you doing here? Like, if you saw them at the top of my desk, there's papers here, papers here, but I know where everything is and where to find stuff. And it's like, I have files piled up in the back for shit, and I'm like, okay, I know folder this, mm-hmm. folder that. It's more or less organized, but it's chaotic. Mm-hmm. But I know where to do it. And, like, there's only a few spaces that I'm like that. And yeah, but there are people that are completely like, how can you keep yourself in order? I do not know. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, my sister in law is like, they're that. not, they're not like, they're also not clean in any way, other way possible. They're yeah, slobs maybe. through and through, but yet somehow they skate by. Oh, I think we all have that one. Like, for some reason, I'm the worst at cleaning my car. Like, terrible at cleaning my car. And most of the time, it's a disaster. It's been better now, but. 
yeah, there. I guess we all have that one mm-hmm. that one space that we occupy that's just our shit space. Like Basically, anything yeah. goes. For most people, it's the bathroom. Most people. Yeah. There you go. But you haven't seen my car yet. Uh, anyways, Jackass Four. I don't know how we got onto this one. Comes out March fifth, supposedly twenty twenty one. And they jumped the gun. That's what happened. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, the balls through the. Uh... Through the what do you call it? I still don't. Yeah, but how, okay, we went from balls. That in the was the thing. last one on Jackass. I think that was the last like point off where we started talking about. Oh, and then I brought up the photo oh, of the scotch, and then shit. okay, never mind. We got out it. We figured it out. We did it again. I love those moments we had to like stop and like backtrack yeah. just to like just for fun, just for yeah. shits and giggles to find out where we got to this point. We literally are living it, and we still have to go back and Tarantino Son ourselves. <laughs> like actually, Nolan ourselves. Would it be Nolan in? Because you're going out of the dream. Chris Nolan's been in that corner the entire time. You're going deeper into the dream kind of thing. And then you have to pull yourself. Oh, yeah, Yeah. because I think I called the one episode The Kick. Yeah. For that specific reason. There you go. Um, Go watch that movie. The early Rise of Skywalker reviews, which I sort of kicked it off after your review, (laughs) they've been super fucking mixed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, some people are saying it's, like, the worst. Some people are saying, yikes. Some people are saying it's awesome. I think it's, uh, you'll either like it or you'll hate it. There's Mm -hmm. no, like... You but either so. way, screw well, you, man. Have you read any like average no, review like saying it's like anything. okay? Like nobody's it's either really good or they hate it. Yeah, no There's no like, oh, it's okay. It's I like, saw whatever. I saw one tweet from a um, reviewer I used to follow that said yikes, and I'm like, I don't follow you anyways. I don't really agree <laughs> with anything you say. So I was like, <laughs> fuck you, man. Yeah, <laughs> that was the only thing I saw. So there was this one guy at work. And I was talking to this other guy, a big Star Wars fan, and we we're just talking about Star Wars. And he came to talk to us. And is I feel like everybody knows this one guy. And it's like we asked him, "Hey, are you going to go see Star Wars at work? Because I want to see it at a work event, like mm-hmm. after closing." And he's like, "Uh, no, I don't watch Star Wars." <laughs> and like that, it's like, it's like okay. come on, man. Like, cool, cool dude. <laughs> yeah, like it's like the person that says, "I don't watch Marvel movies." Yeah, Everyone like, watches Marvel. It's like, all right, man. But he was also it was weird because this happened like. 30 seconds into him talking about Star Wars with us. That's weird. So it's like, why did you come join us to talk about a show? I mean, you like, that's like you guys talking is he a about fanboy of like the fucking games Tarantino. And, and I come in like, oh, yeah, I saw half of fucking Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Let's talk about Tarantino movies. It's like, no, fuck off. Wait. So what you're saying is that this kid is a closet. Well, no, Star I just, Wars I, fan. Dude, I just, I just annoys me when we're talking about something. And people are like, oh, like, hey, do you see this movie? No, I haven't seen that. It's like, shut up. Like, are you is, that insulted that I asked if you've seen Star Wars? Yeah. Was he in the circle when you guys were talking about it? Was he passing by? Like, passing you... by and then came on his own accord. No. And then you I, asked him I after? tried not to speak to this man as much <laughs> as possible. <laughs> see, this is where it's important for me. So you guys are having your circle. So He's I like walking the, by. So for like frame uh or for picture we were by the ticket stand okay. where you like ripped your tickets yep so that's where we were he but, came from concession okay to like go to the break room so okay. he's coming around and then stopped like stopped and came to the stand so he did the whole hey what are you guys talking about mm-hmm. thing and then the second you asked it he's like no i fucking hate it well you know we he said oh what are you talking about we're talking about star wars like are you gonna see it <laughs> no i haven't seen star wars Oh. And then keep staying. It's like okay, really made a point of it. Yeah. Like, okay. It, see you later. <laughs> it's like see that's that's <laughs> what annoyed me. And well, when people do that, where it's like you know what, like if you don't like Star Wars, like I don't fucking care. I think it's for everything. Yeah. Anything but also like the times now, it's like if you don't like Star Wars, don't work like, in, you're the in the minority. If you don't can't appreciate every movie. Well, he hadn't seen a single one. Well, that's one. not true. No, but it's like at the same time, it's all I gotta say is <laughs> it's a movie, and Star Wars is popular now. Yeah. So you're not watching it, kind of makes you the minority in this case. Yeah, this is the 1980s. You're it's not like Jay cool in Star Wars. Uh, in this is the end. Bear shell. Bear shell. Bear not bear. Oh, and this in the end that hates everything. Yeah, like, actively hates yeah, everything. The contrarian. It's like you're a hipster or a hipster. What was the other one they they put him in as a hipster or whatever? Anyways, yeah, he was you know, Jay Bear <laughs> That fact. one was a uh, that was with Seth Rogen. I watched the long shot this past week. T- um, with him and Charlize Theron. Thero- oh Theron. yeah, yeah. It's really funny. Yeah, it's really good. Netflix. Yeah. Oh. Uh no, Amazon Prime. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Seth um, Rogen was in Anchorman, and I was watching it. I'm like, oh, that's Seth Green. I'm like, that's not fucking Seth Green. I'm like, who's Seth Green? And I just had yeah. this whole 15 minute epiphany yeah. trying to figure Super out who early. I was like, who Seth Rogen was. He's no a delivery who he was. guy, wasn't he? No, he was the camera guy mm-hmm. for Corning Stone oh, yeah, when she was right. covering the cat 
thing. Yeah, the fucking where she fell in the bear enclosure. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Even this was way before. Oh. So the, the the first piece that she had on that news thing was covering a the cat, cat fashion thing. show. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just laughing. He's like, oh, this is some great stuff in Sporting <laughs> Stone. <laughs> and it's such a young, young Seth Rogen. Yeah. Perfect. Um, oh my God, you said that. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, Oscar's looking to go without a host again. Oh, yeah. You Worked last want- time. Yeah, did you I guys even so. watch it? I didn't watch it last time, no. I, I, don't, I cut my kids. Well, I never watch it. I did. I, I did enjoy it, though, because you'd get some, I think you'd get some um, movie previews sometimes during that, too, wouldn't you? Mm, no, not sometimes. so much there. That'd be weird. It feels like that's uh, time to do it. Oh, like for the one show you put money on having like movie ads would be for the sure. Oscars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people will just try to well, release Well, during movies. the commercials you yeah, get like, that. That's when you'd get it. Yeah, commercials yeah. for Not sure. Not for the show to portray. Yeah, yeah. That's more like talk shows will do that. I felt it worked. Um, yeah, I felt it well, worked. Well, it was sh- like an hour shorter, wasn't it? Yeah. And it was quick. you watch it every year. So, and you said it was very like long and drawn I, out most of the time. I've watched it years before, but not like devoted. Mm-hmm. Um, the past two years, I've watched the full thing start to finish because I've been going to Jim's place and mm-hmm. Jim has been having like a get together with people. And like, mm-hmm. you know, you, you he's got a chart and you fill it out or whatever. And you, you just pick. Mm-hmm. Right. It's like a bingo kind of deal. Five bucks a category. <laughs> no. Oh, OK. It's all fun. 15. A shot, a category. I think I picked. <laughs> so I didn't see a bunch of the movies, the mm-hmm. Oscar movies last year. Yeah. And I was just going through and I was just based on Golden Globe buzz. Yeah. And then whichever I couldn't figure out, like I couldn't decide just between, guessed. I put it on Sophs. Mm-hmm. And I think Soph and I ended up being like 50 50. So somewhere along those lines, I had a perfect card. There you go. If you put us together, it's yeah. perfect. But I, have, I do think that. Um, this year? I, no, not this year. Um, I do think that having no host is good. Mm-hmm. Just get the fuck out. They did it for a while. It was fine. Last year's, I will say, was a little lackluster. And then all of a sudden, like I mentioned, you had Lady Gaga just Lady Gagaing all over the place and making it her show. Yeah. And it's like, just, just, just yeah. stop. She Brie Larson the Oscars. That's what she Go did. Go home. What me? No, her. Okay, good. Go home. I was She's like, drunk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just, and it was just like kind of one of those like, oh god, like yeah. what are you doing? It, it's and you know what it reminds me of? I'll tell you what it reminds me of. Watching her during that those Oscars reminds me of when I used to look at my Facebook posts, or when I if I go back in my Facebook posts, what like do you early, do? <laughs> when Soph and I first dated, and uh, I want to throw up. Just delete that shit. I'm like, what were we? Like we're not even people at this point. What? Are we? Oh, babe. Doing? Yeah. Babe, wait. Babe. Babe, wait, babe. No. <laughs> no, it wasn't even that. Like, no. it was, oh my God, it was disgusting. It was so gross. And it, I hate the fact that that part exists and I should no, go I back know. and delete it. But it was like three you years. You know what the tough thing is? That when you when you think back, Facebook didn't actually have the private message, didn't have. So anything you mm. needed to say to someone was just in the news. There's feed. so much stuff I didn't have. It was just yeah. always there. It's like, and I look back, I'm like, what the. No, it's the same effect as you got, but, but I'm like, what, why, why would I say that? What's wrong with me? Listen, if any of you guys are dating out there, okay, you guys go to the F word and you'll probably find somebody with a really long first and last name. I'm not going to tell you what it actually is, but you probably should already know, even though you know me as G. Go back to like 2009 and just look Creep. at that type of fight, fucking Facebook. Page. Watch everyone start liking that shit. Oh, you bastards. No, no, no. Don't like it. In fact, comment what the fuck were you thinking and keep that in the back of your minds how not to be a human being in society that's a prime example yeah but but also what most people are doing right now i was going to say i I feel i feel like no but people are doing that with relationships still and sometimes worse okay way more cringy man what do you think tiktok's all about no it's not i don't even know well it's just fine but no this one guy in my uh stats class him and his girlfriend who whatever this all these his whole stories on social media would just be him grabbing her ass in mcdonald's bathroom like literally just filled and like just soft core porn it's like what the fuck are you doing if he's playing tricks on her i think it'd be funnier but the fact but it's also like even if i was in a relationship (laughs) i wouldn't want my friends and family that follow me on social media to see me doing that oh you mean tricks on her like 
like Throwing actual like, water balloons yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. Oh, that'd be fucking hilarious. Because I follow a few yeah. guys, like few like Australian guys and stuff like that, and they yeah. pull pranks on each other like crazy. And like, are those, those a... four dudes? Like, there's that one dude with the really long hair, and yeah. then his shorter brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those guys are crazy. He's nuts. They're fucking hilarious. The dude. one guy plays tricks on his family all the time, and I, they're into it. Yeah. They get it, but he's made them famous, and like yeah. they make millions as it is. So they, it's like they know the world they live in exactly. Yeah. But it, it's beyond hilarious when they play tricks like that and they throw each other. The funniest the thing was that back in YouTube, like in the prime era i'd say like 2014 there was yeah. the like, channel prank versus prank mm. and like they all these prank channels where boyfriends and girlfriends would prank the shit out of each other constantly yeah. Yeah. and then they'd fucking break up because they realized how, just how toxic it yeah. was like the level of pranks they do is like just, just, just up the shooting action. them with an air like a paintball gun when they're sleeping it's like oh, oh yeah but, I can't. Wonder, I wonder why this relationship didn't last. And why one of you guys just gave up and said, "Fuck this." Yeah, that's a tough thing to do. Not just because it's your girlfriend. Let's say, but it's you your do business. With your girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever you like, love, like mm-hmm. that you care about, right? It's for the likes, babe. Well, because there's always there's always the one person that knows that it's a game, and then the other person will manipulate the other. Like, so let's say if me and Soph started playing that, and Soph was pretending to cry, I would actually break right away. Yeah. Whereas she would see me cry and probably still hit me and shit. So yeah. like there's an unfair advantage for one party. Yeah. Not necessarily like the guy or the girl, but whoever is more sensitive in the mm-hmm. relationship yeah. loses all the time. Yeah. There's so always like, there's always one that's gonna go too far. Too. Well there's yeah, there's one that'll realize this one will always submit and will not like mm-hmm. go too far out. Yeah. yeah. But I can because I'm gonna take it. Yeah, because yeah. you just say, Oh well it's reviews, you know. Uh, why are you painting my ass with uh, peanut butter and letting the dog eat it? For views, babe. <laughs> now, because I'm sitting on the couch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then lastly, out of that, mm-hmm. I've got... What else I got? The oh. Last Jedi spoiler. Boop. No. But if you did enjoy listening to our experiment episode, you can't necessarily follow along because I did Anyone cut that like died, got 30 episodes. Oh, actually, Arturo <laughs> said he wants to hear me, hear us do Guardians of the Galaxy. I messaged, yeah, because I messaged him oh, and that'll I asked be fun. him. The yeah, second one. The second mm-hmm. one, the second one. Yeah. I asked him how what he thought about it and he enjoyed it. I was like, sweet. If if he likes it, then I'm I'm good. Yeah. And then... Um, he the is the clip, one vocal listener, so yeah. we are taking his feedback. Yeah. <laughs> well, going and and mostly he's been, he's been with us forever, right? Like, And he still listens to us and stuff. So yeah. if I'm going to take anybody's advice, it's going to be his because he's the one that listens and like also there's just us. so many shit we can do with that like there's so yeah. many movies and it's just a matter of finding the right we could do a fucking thing. tarantino yeah we totally like because i haven't finished once upon a time in hollywood and it was like 20 minutes and not even Actually, halfway no, i don't think lord of the rings would work as well why because it's I, I three hours long part, i think the tough part is doing it with long movies is that we Four still hours. like we Actually, can't necessarily listen along with it no. We yeah, have you to get find drawn into balance. Lord of the Rings. I'm going to be paying attention and like, yeah, that one won't work. You need staring. to watch it on your own, and then we can watch it after. Yeah, but it has there like the problem that we had. Like, I'm having to go through and cut out massive like five second sections, voids, voids when nothing's going on. Now, yeah. the volume was super high on the TV. Was it not? Well, it it wasn't to the point where it would like fill. Oh those yeah, voids. we had it. We had it. Uh, we low. Started it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. true. We lowered so, it a little too much, I think, to, to be able to talk. I guess. Yeah, there's a. I think it was more so. I thought it was too loud, but then mm-hmm. when I recorded it back, it wasn't loud enough. But anyways, mm-hmm. we're definitely gonna do that. Um, also, we got new T-shirts. Oh yeah. Um, Arturo, yours is on the way. Spoiler alert. Anthony has his. Mm-hmm. You have yours. Mm-hmm. I think they turned out pretty good. Yeah, mm-hmm. I already have some tweaks I want to do. It's like a minimalist type of style. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put a post on our Instagram just to kind of be like, "Hey, our new T-shirts." And I've been like asking some people around, like exactly Jim- like that. Don't do anything more. Yeah. Don't do anything less. Just do a video. <laughs> Don't show the T-shirts. I was like, "Hey, our new T-shirts," and that's it. Just like a quiet one where I just move a the story in front a, a Facebook story. <gasps> hey, our T-shirts. That's do a it. video. Be like when you get new T-shirts and you do the Joker dance and go in your bathroom and just start dancing with a shirt on. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a photo and put it up there, a video or whatever. And oh my um, God, if you had to, you could, I don't think it's a bad idea. If you want to do the Joker dance, I, I think that'd be hilarious. I, I don't know if I so could. Funny. But uh, anyways, they're, they're in. I'm just, uh, I only ordered 10 mm-hmm. and I'm just giving them away. But I want to, I'm giving them to you guys. I think I only have like three left now because there's some other people that just want them. And I just want to see how they look out in the open. I think they're okay. We can tweak them. But there's real possibility. I'm gonna get better quality T-shirts, like the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Mm-hmm. Super nice, it's super light. Those ones, they're cotton and they're really heavy. So, anyways, getting some merch. She gets suede. Merch. 
Uh, <laughs> like massive jackets. Yeah. And then I'm working on some other like designs or and velvet. stuff to play around with. Full velvet track suits. Fanny packs. Fanny yeah. packs. And then I guess we can finish off. Do you, what, you didn't see that Mandalorian yet? How no. far did you get? I've got just ep- I finished yeah. episode four. Wait. Holy crap. No, five. Four was with the girl, right? And the baby Yoda with the cup? Yeah. Yes. What did I just finish? The bounty hunter that turns on Mando and like kills the one girl? That's five. Five, get that one. Yeah, I finished that I one. finished seven. I did too. Quite good. Very. Like, I, and I also like... You guys can go to spoilers. We, I can just dip. Yeah, I was sleep early. We didn't actually talk about the other one either, the prisoners Six? with a lot of people. That one was also good. What do you say? We didn't talk about it. We're not. No, we're not talking spoilers. Oh, Have a oh seat. yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, both very good. And number That's seven right, was I the totally penultimate. Forgot. Yeah. That's right. Um, Why wouldn't they release it today? Because Star Wars. Maybe because of Witcher. No, because people are watching Star Wars. Oh, yeah. That was the whole right. reason. Because yeah, but now smart. we gotta wait what till after Christmas. Doesn't though? matter. That was smart. So it's just, next week. It's coming next it's week. Friday. For sure. yeah, yeah, next Friday. It's Friday. Next Friday. Yeah, next Friday. No, that's. I don't, smart. I don't like these. Breaks. Well, if you just chose to watch on the Friday, like myself, I do. Listen, well, then there's no issue. But, but listen, The Witcher's out right now. I get that. So you have that to fill in the void, and then Mandalorian Episode 8, which is the final episode of Season 1, is going to be out next has week. Has it been renewed yet? Good. For mm, sure it has. I don't know officially, but I think... Because we weren't sure if it's a one-off. Remember uh, one uh, week we were talking, we were like, I don't know. No, I think it's going to go you like think it'd be five seasons. No, I, th- so, I hope it goes three maximum seasons. Okay, hold on, though. But different storyline. So you, you follow same Mandalorian in another storyline kind of thing. I think same I bounty guess. hunter. Same bounty hunter, but... But like different bounty. Different bounty. Mm-hmm. Different situation going on. So yeah, it's like child. You, follow, you follow him on it. Like say the child, like anything with the baby Yoda thing gets the child. gets finished in this season. Like the child can come back, but like just send him off to a planet and then like, hey, one episode, he's in it in season two. It's all fun. It's like, oh, yeah. it's, he's back. Because he, tra- he covers a lot of ground overall. Like it's pretty intense that way. But um, mm. yeah, the seven or six was Prisoners. With all like that and was like seven was cameo reckoning. heavy cameo heavy. holy crap like from the movies or just no like just other like places. other places yeah like three, well, well-known actors but three, three of sure. them I had no idea until I looked at the IMDb page yeah I was like holy fuck. oh or is it is it obvious like is it one of them is masks and shit like you, one of them you know right away like sorry two you know right away I guess and yeah. then the other two are have more prosthetics and stuff like that so you won't recognize the right one away. I didn't recognize at all until I saw his Instagram page I was oh, like oh yeah fucking hell it was awesome yeah and then number seven was very good. Number seven yep. was like, oh shit! Like, so are these better than good. that's Number four and five? Seven, I was just told we're like seven. Mediocre. They're saying is is probably the best episode so far. And I still think three is my favorite episode so yeah, far. Yeah, seven good. is like a close second. Yeah, I would say so. It's up there for sure. Yeah. Um, very good. Overall, this se- this whole season, this was three the, series been good. The jetpack one where they all come in jetpacks. Yeah, that yeah was, that was the good. portals. <laughs> yeah, the portal scene. <laughs> still waiting for someone to do it. Yeah, they want you do sure. it. It's a very I minimal. Am. Minimal minimalistic. I don't know. No, that's I got I got stuff going on. Okay, <laughs> minimalistic is like one white wall and one pen. That's what it is? You just put the song over the video. So there's there's not there's a minimal amount of effort required to make it. That's so I gotta I gotta find a recording. Not of minimalist. Sh- of that. that something else. Download that and then I gotta add it to that clip. Yeah, yeah you'll be fine. Well, you download fucking TV shows. Movies what are you talking about? I don't know. You? What? All right. I download from streaming services. Sure. Okay, that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the. I guess I would Ooh. say we are now one year after our total rebrand. Mm-hmm. The last rebirth. reboot. The last year we had we released "Merry Christmas, You Filthy Animals," which was our Christmas episode. And really? since then, I've done a poster every single time, and we've like re- essentially rebranded the podcast. So. This is now, I would say, a full year of what our podcast has evolved into. Mm-hmm. I'm super happy. I'm super proud of it. And I'm glad for of everybody who's listened to it. My co-host, Nick, I hope one day he's able to come back. Yeah. But yeah, um, awesome. this has been a pretty awesome year for the podcast. Mm-hmm. So and, yeah. 2016 to 2018 or whenever we started was... 2017. 2017 was season zero. Season one was Christmas to There's 20, no season not zero. 20. Come on. Oh my God. The season. Just you weren't the, even the on season zero. It doesn't matter. So I, we got to say, so we got to say like, go ahead, finish no, it no, off. This no, is no, a nice. No. Yes. I honestly though, like even I remember it was just at a point like it's really dry and like just not fun to come, but now it's just like, it's just an enjoyment, like an enjoying conversation. Mm. Well, I can be honest. Now it's better. Like yeah, don't, it's don't give better. me shame. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
it's yeah it's something that i actually enjoy listening to and that's the thing like even yeah. watching it like it's entertaining as fuck like, yeah we just got to do more videos mm-hmm. now that i've got i've upgraded the audio part of it with this little guy and then maybe along the lines getting a better laptop we just need to find someone to actually like come record us and like do different angles and shit mm. and just fuck i'm sure somebody wants to like there's somebody around that would be willing to do it mm. Yeah, until we figure it out mm-hmm. ourselves. I mean, we'll figure it out. We're gonna we're we'll get a drone. I mean, it'll just kind of pan. The around. clips are new. Those go. Uh, those do awesome. Yeah. So I think it's if it's between you and me, even trying to figure out like if I can learn how to do it too, I'd be all over that. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been a really good year. We did some experimental stuff, and whoever is like still listening, fuck bless you <laughs> thank you because <laughs> we would still do it even if you weren't listening but it's awesome that you are if there is just like because arturo is just the one we know he's the vocal yeah. but i wonder if there's just someone who just genuinely just listens and doesn't mm-hmm. say anything because the contact a few of them. just goes and like is the yeah. oldest one like two years yeah i don't know um but that's all i have i hope everyone has whatever you celebrate we celebrate christmas so we're gonna say merry christmas if you do yeah. the holidays things happy holidays uh if you don't celebrate at all hey Hopefully you have a couple of days off from work mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to, I'll see We'll see you in the new year. Gentlemen, yep. anything? See you later. Have a yeah. wonderful rest of 2019. Ditto. I'm G. It's your boy, Anthony. And Vass. We love you and we're out. Yeah.